Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to our channel. We really appreciate it. This is Brandon and I'm Jane. We're with RV Traveling with Six and we got challenged to some questions from the dry campers, Mike and Leanna. And go ahead and read them and we'll answer them as fast as we can for you guys so number one if you can change or add one thing on your RV what would it be counter space in the kitchen uh-huh that's a good one because there's not much of it it's kind of our throw all so between dry goods and where my wallet and everything goes kind of run out of space pretty quick so yep that and storage um, all over. I think mostly underneath though, so that we can have bikes. Number two, what is something you didn't expect when you got your first RV? So I've had several, we've had few together. So we'll just talk about this RV. Mm -hmm. So the one thing that I didn't expect was how small the propane tank was on the uh, gasoline motor coaches. It's only an 18 gallon capacity, which is bigger than your small tanks, but uh, that would probably be the one thing that I'd want to upgrade and change. Mm. For me, I thought I'd be more comfortable trying to drive it, and I'm not there yet. <laughs> so, um... Come here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, come around. Come sit with daddy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you talking with us? So, um, okay, number three. Uh, what was the deciding factor to buy your first RV? Uh, oh. Our first RV? Uh, yep. So we'll just talk about this one in this video, the RV that we have, because it was the deciding factor for a lot of things. Yep. Yeah. So we'll just for the one that we've been full time in. Uh, yep. So we bought this one before we went full time. The motor home. <laughs> Three, what was the deciding factor to buy your first RV? So we're going to talk about this RV that we have now because that's what we are full time in. Go ahead. So our deciding factor, our little boys running around. So. Um, I would have to say the being able to uh, have the mobility and flexibility with uh, the kids, mm -hmm. uh, not having to worry about pulling over the truck and the trailer and trying to find somewhere for a pit stop, whether it was going to the bathroom or making travel days easier. Yeah, yep. a lot easier because they start squealing a lot sooner in the truck. Okay, number four. What is your favorite meal to cook at camp? So I would say our favorite meal uh, would be our my garlic shrimp and uh, artificial crab that I do, mm -hmm. sometimes scampi. Yep. That one, but not all of them eat that, so the other one would be tacos and pizza. It's We have kids, <laughs> so it's what it is. <laughs> All right, number five, what is your must-see RV destination? Mine right now, the top one that is on my heart is uh, Glacier National Park. There's others that are totally beautiful, but that one's on my heart for some reason. I would have to say many things with national forest and wildlife, so nothing in particular. Probably Alaska, I would say. Yeah. Wouldn't you or yeah. not? Well, it's a must. That's a bucket list item. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. And then number six, what's your favorite thing about RVing? 
So, the best thing about RVing is being able to pack up and move when you want to. The flexibility. Um, Traveling. like Being able to go and see things. Yeah. It, it's been very beneficial for the kids. Yeah. Showing them firsthand instead of stuff in the books. So. Yeah. Yep, definitely. Um, number seven, what is your least favorite thing about RVing? I would have to say... Mm, I think space. Like, sometimes it's really hard to work in that kind of space with six people. So it's like, what is it? 10 feet wide by 39 feet long. So you're looking at maybe 390 square feet, I think is how you figure it out. So um, it's just, it's, and most of it, you know, half of it's bed and storage and but it's bathroom. not bad. It's not bad. I'm not no. saying that. It's just, um, it's the least favorite thing. That's the question. So the space. I just like the space to a certain degree because yeah. the family is forced to spend time together. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Versus yeah. I mean, there's... our 4,700 square foot house. Yeah. You didn't have to see anybody if you didn't want to. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Totally but, agree. Uh, I would say the, the least favorite would probably be our uh, rainy travel days. Oh yeah. That's a good one. And the idiots on the road. <laughs> So we've had some pretty close encounters. I'm yeah. normally exhausted from having to watch around me. So just take it slow and easy. Okay, and number eight, what is a must have on your next RV? So a must have, I would have to say- a Place for bikes. Yo. Know, I mean, that's not, I mean that's one of our musts. We have a few of them. But for the kids. For the kids. Yeah. Bikes. Uh, must have probably a diesel pusher for the larger storage capacity, mm -hmm. the underbelly, and then we can have better choices of floor plans that we really love. So. Yeah. Uh, I would have to say that would probably be it. What's your favorite adult beverage at camp or campfire treat? So when I do have an adult beverage which is not very often uh, it's a uh, bud platinum made by Budweiser mm -hmm. and then normally s'mores with the kids so mm -hmm. yeah I'm just water or diet coke usually for me and what is your favorite indoor RV accessory Ooh. well I would have to say it's everybody's would be our internet. <laughs> <laughs> we stream uh, yeah. on occasion when we watch local channels if we get any. But uh, I would have to say our internet for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't, honestly, we wouldn't have this lifestyle if we didn't have the no. ability to have internet. So, yeah, definitely a good one. <laughs> um, indoor. I can't remember what I was thinking for this one. Ah, you, you got a good one. Internet's what's important. <laughs> okay, so now we are gonna challenge two other couples to this. Um, if you wanna answer, you can. If you don't, it's okay. So um, we came up with Chuck and Cheryl from Get Gone With Us. And we got the chance to meet them for the first time in Alabama. Totally awesome, amazing good people so we are excited to see what you will say <laughs> and then the second couple we haven't met yet but we've followed them on YouTube and they're subscribers of ours yep it's Norman Kim with Mountain Beaches so be sure to check out both of their channels we'll link them down below and then uh, if you're up to the challenge and accept be sure to leave us a comment we'll be looking for your videos thank you guys